being a part of our very, very, very first Kitty Plays Chef Cooking with Kitty in Kitty's Kitchen. All you guys are gonna need for this one is very, very, very easy. And I swear to God, once you try this, you are gonna be wanting to have this every single morning. It is so healthy and it is just the bomb diggity, okay? I don't say bomb diggity very often, but this definitely fully encompasses bomb diggity. What you're gonna need is a pan. Uh-oh, that's a bad idea. Woo, woo, woo. Just clean off my stove top. Uh -huh. We need a clean area. There's so much flour on my mouse pad, it is not even funny. What you guys are going to need for this one is some sort of blender. Um, we're going to be using the Nutribullet, although the Magic Bullet or any other type of blender works. Also, if you want to use a whisk, that is totally appropriate for this as well. Then you are going to need some eggs, some bananas. A banana and two eggs is actually all you need. And we are going to add a little bit of cinnamon and a drop of vanilla into ours. And then if you can add anything as yours, or you can add neither if you don't like either. Um, but we're gonna spice it up, we're gonna get fancy. We're gonna get fancy in here <laughs> with easy ingredients, okay? Okay, now that that's settled. So we're gonna peel a banana, make the banana a little bit chopped up like that. And we're gonna add two eggs, okay? So let's see if I can put, <laughs> crack eggs. I've always wanted to learn how to crack eggs with one hand. Okay, put that in the compost and wash hands. <laughs> this is really, really easy, guys. This is something that you can do home every morning before school, before work. Okay, so we've got two eggs and a banana, and I'm gonna just add one drop of vanilla. And a little bit of, just a pinch of, so let's put it, <laughs> it's a little bit more than a pinch. A pinch, <laughs> ruined! No, trust, you just gotta trust, okay? <laughs> so we are going to... Okay, so this is where we will probably get different, if any of you guys do this along with me, is I'm using a neutral bullet, you can use a magic bullet, you can use a food pro... Are you okay? This chair is not happy. You can use any type of blender, you can even use a whisk, but this is really important, is you want to blend it more than you think you will need because the more you blend it, the fluffier the pancake will be. If you, oh, if you blend it just enough so that it's blended, it's gonna be more like a crepe omelet style, but if you blend it a lot, then it's gonna be amazing. So, let's make it amazing. Fluffy. <laughs> That should be good. So we are going to put some butter on a pan. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. We're going over here. And uh, this is an induction oven. So how this actually heats things up is uh, with magnets. So it's really cool. Uh, so we are going to put that on there and we're going to add some butter because, I mean butter. I don't think we need a reason to add butter. You don't need too much. But I mean, just do you, do you. So we're gonna turn that on. And we've decided that seven is a better setting, like six or seven for a setting is the best. I probably should have heated, heated the plate before I blended, blent? Wow, words are hard. <laughs> before I blend everything, but. So we're just gonna make sure the butter is covering the entire base of the plate, or pan, or whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> okay. So, now we will add our blended vanilla cinnamon banana pancake. Very, very minimal amount of ingredients, maximum reward. And normally I wouldn't cook in a pan that's so upright, but this is the one that I set up with, so we're just gonna use that. So we'll cover that up and we'll just let it cook, and then we're gonna flip it. And when I flip it, I, I am successful, I think, 60% of the time. So I'm really not sure how that's gonna end up being, okay? Really not sure how that's gonna look. In before burn. In be yeah, they're fine. You flip it when it bubbles. I'm covering the pancakes because they're banana, they're only banana and egg. There is no flour in this. 
So, it, and it bubbles really quick. So I just want this, make sure that the center is happy before I flip it. How many flips can I do? I'm gonna do one flip and it's not even really a flip. Like I cheat. I'm gonna show you how to cheat when you flip, okay? <laughs> and that is with this genius invention. Okay. I wanna remind you if you make this, it is still good as a scramble. Okay? <laughs> I don't think I put enough butter. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, we're good. Okay, now we gotta make it over this bump. <laughs> Why is it moving? <laughs> no! Okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay, we're gonna do that. And then, we're gonna just grease the pan a little bit more. Uh... <laughs> oh! <laughs> Almost. Almost. Oh, fucker. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's brown. I don't know why. It's brown. It's not black. This is perfect. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna make a little bit of a fruit topping for this. And for this, all you need is you can get frozen berries um, at any grocery store if you use it for your smoothies in the morning or something. And we, this is frozen berries that I've already uh, heated up that I'm gonna add on top of the pancake once it's finished. Pancake burning? Oh! We're fine. I mean, it looks fine. Perfect. <laughs> wow. Wow, it's so perfect. It's just the most perfect pancake. Look at that. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. You had one job. You know what, Skipper? Actually, right now I have about a hundred different jobs that I'm doing simultaneously, so I don't appreciate the sarcasm. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna add the berries to the parts that don't look as good. So by adding the berries to the areas that are unattractive, you hide the unattractive areas with the berries. Okay? Wow. <laughs> the funny thing, okay, when it comes to this, it still tastes good. I want you to know that. And then we'll do a nice little design. Splash, splash, splash. And you have your perfect pancake. I am Canadian. I am from British Columbia, Canada. So, of course, we need some maple syrup. Such Canadian. So now we're just gonna splash on some maple, maple syrup and we are complete. So even though, even though that it got a little bit um, hot on the bottom, it still tastes really good and yeah, you guys should try it. This is a good recipe if you have a smoother pan. The 90 degree on this pan kind of screwed me, but <laughs> that's okay. I guess I have to try it, don't I? <laughs> You haven't tasted it, but you know it's good. I know it's good because I've burnt it 10 times as bad and it still tasted good. I'll even, I'll even do, I'll eat the spot I covered up. Yeah. Here we go. Shall we? Mmm. I actually really, I only had seaweed salad for breakfast, so if you don't mind. Just want a little bit more. Oh man, this is so good. Mmm! <laughs> K, 
Kitty is eating a banana on stream. Mm -hmm. You're right. Got a purple teeth now? Probably. Nice. Good idea, Kristen.